hey, so not surprising. The mascot is a turtle. So every time I drive my car to a big roundabout, there was a big statue of a turtle. Just to remind you, please go slow. <laughs> I remember the days when I was caught in a traffic jam in Tungano as well. Here, we are caught in a traffic jam with about 1,000 cars in front. In Tungano, we are caught as well with one slow car in front. <laughs> all right? That is what traffic jam was about, all right? So what happened was that I said, well, I told my family, I said, we can't be a, nin uh, we can't be a turtle anymore. Let's become a ninja turtle. <laughs> all right? So that was what happened. Three and a half years ago, I decided to make a change. I said, let's move to KL. I tell you, and we made a decision within two weeks, that's all. Okay, I tell you, you want to move ahead in life, you got to make a drastic change in your life, my friend. You got to realize that you got to change. So what happened is that two weeks, I made a decision, I moved instantly. I tell my partner, I said, you take over everything, I'm going to move to KL. So when I moved here, I don't even have an income in KL. I don't have a job, I don't have an office here, you know. Of uncertainty, my children came here without education, without a school. All right, so when I moved here, I settled everything, and the first thing I realized, I don't have friends here. Right? It was something new. I was there for 20 years. I knew a lot of people here. I knew. So one of the things I need to do was that what? I got to network with people. So that it was the reason I went to a lot of seminars. <coughs> right? I attended so many seminars. You name it. I even went to Singapore to walk on charcoal as well. <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? So I went to a lot of seminars. And let me tell you, I have a dream. I have a goal like most of you all to do something with our life. Isn't it? Do you have a goal that you want to do? Have you achieved it so far? No, right? Don't be ashamed, right? Everybody is the same. But you can make that change today, my friend. So what happened to me? Well, one of my goals 30 years ago when I was in England studying, I wanted to write a book. And among that, many things in my life still, right? I wanted to write a book. In fact, my hobby was studying. Really? And I wanted to write about a book about how to study 30 years ago. And I make a research. There were no books on how to study. But I didn't do it. Today, if you go to the bookshop, there are many books on how to study, isn't it? All right, that explains two things. Number one, you don't take action, nothing is going to happen. Number two, nobody is going to wait for you, my friend. All right, so what happened is that I had that goal, and then I came to one seminar, right? I came to a seminar, I sat behind a young, uh, beside a young man, and this young man wrote a book. And I was so inspired by him writing a book, and I talked to myself, what gave him the right to wrote the, uh, write the book first? He should have waited for me. At least I'm older than him. <laughs> All right? So that's what I thought. So I, I, I was in the middle of the seminar. I was inspired. I told him, can I see you at the end of this seminar? Let me buy you a cup of coffee. You know, and he was kind. Now, after the seminar, uh, uh, I brought him out for a cup of coffee. And in that one hour in the coffee shop, I spent a cup of coffee, charcoal, tiao, that's all. All right? And it cost me just a few ringgit. And you realize that in that one hour, I grilled this gentleman left, right, and center. Asked him how he wrote his book, what inspired him, how he printed it, how he self-published himself, and so on. And you know that the Anthony Robbins says this, you know, change happens in an instant. It is the decision to change that takes a long, long time, isn't it? So what happened after that meeting with me, I made a decision once and for I said, that's it, I'm going to come up. And true enough, two months later, I came up with this book. Two months later, I came up with this book. And my friend, once you do something, you must ride on the momentum. That is why I came up with my second book, my third book, and so on. Now, in a period of three years plus, I've written all in nine books. Is that a great achievement? It's a great achievement, isn't it? I deserve a hand. Come on. <laughs> all right. I came up with nine books. And let me tell you here, I, when I talk about change, I am somebody who used change a lot. I'm an accountant by profession. Today, I'm not an accountant anymore, right? I'm doing something different. I moved all my whole family here. I have done a lot of change. That is why we can move forward, all right? And let me tell you, as well, I don't know how well you are doing today, but I believe you can do better. On the other hand, I do not know how badly you are doing today, but I believe you can do better. It's all up to you from today onwards, right? Where you are today is because of what you have done previously. So what you want in the future is what you do from right on, from today, right? And the good news is this, my friend, I make a lot of changes, isn't it? I achieved so much. And you know where, what was that seminar where I sat behind that young, uh, beside that young man? It's 601. <laughs> Give yourself a big hand. All right. Okay, I think that's all I want to share with you, all right? I just give a few minutes for people who want to ask some questions. Please ask good questions. Don't ask personal questions. <laughs> All right? All right.
You can come in front here. You can ask any question, please. Alright, thank you so much. You can do it as well. Yeah. Um, the question that Alex will uh, post to you um, uh, is about ebooks. Uh, I, I don't think download ebooks uh, uh, is a good point, right? Um, but ebooks are uh, because of its nature, we actually, you know, the, the fancy information can you know, check your friend or whatever, things like that. Uh, how do you actually measure this? Okay, this, this good. Stuff? Okay, good, thank you. Now, when we talk about internet marketing, all right, on the internet is so big and so on, right? So basically, the security is very loose. You must remember that, all right? It's very loose. But although it is loose, there are certain security measures that you can take. All right, you realize that on the internet, I can uh, install a script whereby when you download it on from, my, from that page, all right, you can never go back to that page again. Even you bookmark it, you can never go back to that page. I install a script that will erase everything, you know. So you can never go back to that screen. So even you pass around the link, right? All right, it, it won't go to the website anymore. Are you with me? That's one of the ways. Now, second way I can do is this. I can have an ebook or a software for that matter whereby I install a registration code. So when you open that ebook for the first time, you've got to be online and put in the registration code. So it will register only on that computer. If you pass it around, it will never open. So there are ways to, to, to do a go about it, but sometimes I don't bother the hassle, you know. You know why? Because sometimes you do that, a lot of the customers, they are not computer savvy. They don't even know what to do. So you have a lot of problem trying to advise them how to open it up again. Correct? So I don't bother. So on the internet, you know, sometimes people say people can copy it and so on, right? Well, let me ask you this. Bill Gates' uh, software, do people copy them? He's still the richest man. <laughs> so don't care about what people do. Care about what you can do, right? Okay. Is that answer the question? Okay, next. Come on, I'm sure you got some questions, yeah? Wow, that is a, now I can visualize your website now. All right, now you see, to, to sell on the internet, it has to incorporate everything together, is that clear? You must have a lot of traffic, which you have. You must also have good copywriting. Copywriting is a skill to induce people to buy. Remember I say your website is the best salesman, all right? My website goes to US to try to sell this American, my product. This American have never heard of Richard Kraft, isn't it? And most of all, it came from Malaysia, come on. Correct or not? Where is Malaysia? Some of them don't know. I mean, I, I mean I'm not joking, but it's true, right? Singapore probably didn't know. But now I know, I know people know about Malaysia as well now, right? But anyway, what happened is this, all right? When people go to my website, how do they trust me to buy from me? Correct? Because I'm not there to convince them or what? So your website must be the person who is able to promote for you. So you've got to create a website that can sell. And there are a lot of uh, ingredients that you've got to incorporate into your website that can make it sell. That's the most important thing. So if you just have an information website, who's going to buy? So you have to look at your website now, unless you don't have a good product. If you've got a good product, you must create a website that can sell. You must accept payment. You must automate the whole thing. You must be able to follow up with them and so on. Is it on the internet, all right? Uh, we are talking about uh, statistics shows that 71% of sales are made after seven contacts. 71%, I made seven contacts. Do you contact that after that? You see, in your case, people go to your website, after that they leave, isn't it? Do you know who visited your website? You know? No, you know precisely who or not? Ah, you don't know. But you must know who visited your website. You know, no point tracking how many visitors you have. You must know who visited your website, what is his email address, so that you can follow up. There are strategies to do that, all right? Five more minutes only, yeah? Okay, anything else? Last question. Come. That, uh, come, come. So that everybody else can. <coughs> okay, thank you. Well, I mean, like I said just now, on the internet, the security is very loose, right? I mean, you can take my book and print, 
Come on, don't talk about on the internet. What about this one? People can go and photocopy and.